Thanks. <clears throat> I think you should be running the hospital. I'm going to share the four critical skills that you use every day as an emergency physician that are also required to be a great CEO. Uh, so this article reviewed 17,000 assessments of C-suite level executives. Uh, it looked at behaviors that separated average performance from the outstanding leaders. The best CEOs demonstrated four essential traits that were critical to their success. They're decisive, they engage for impact, they adapt proactively, and they deliver reliably. Both CEOs and ED docs must be comfortable with ambiguity. Try to get as much information as you can, but make a timely decision. Decisions are rarely permanent, especially in the business world. CEOs and EM physicians must decide with speed and conviction. We recognize that some decisions are truly stat, but we also recognize that sometimes the best decision is to do nothing. Our stakeholders are the nurses, techs, and patients, and their families. In the C-suite, you have uh, similar stakeholders, but more of them. But they all have similar needs. They need you to be confident, honest, integrity, and empathy. Demonstrate and instill confidence in the team and in your patients. Uh, give everyone a voice, but not necessarily a vote. But don't be a dictator, because that does not bring out the best in the people around you. In the C-suite and in the ED, you're all on the same team, and you need to get people on your side quickly and to remain calm in the crisis. A misinterpreted phrase can be devastating to both a patient and to uh, a direct report. CEOs must adapt proactively. Think of the long view and adapt quickly to the changes on the ground. ED docs are comfortable when things are not in the playbook. And adaptable CEOs are nearly seven times more likely to succeed. Cultivate a growth mindset, recognize your mistakes, grow from them, but don't dwell on it or let it define you. Reliable CEOs were 15 times more likely to succeed. Set realistic expectations, develop strong organization and planning skills, and build and recruit a talented team. There are obvious practical steps that you can take to develop these skills. Read, study, find a great mentor. But first, let's look at some of the deeper, more metacognitive steps that are necessary for this. Plan ahead, rehearse in your mind. We are masters at deciding quickly despite ambiguity. Visualize and be mindful, especially of the opportunities you have to, uh, to practice these skills in your daily work. Take the time daily to build your team. We work to get the nurses, patients, and families on our side. Be confident, but encourage every member of the team to be able to step up and to speak up. Finally, maintain a growth mindset. Learn to adapt to the situation, but stay flexible. Be consistent and reliable. That behavior will be recognized on your path to the executive suite. When you return home, your next steps are going to be to volunteer, to get on some hospital committees, or to do work with them. Build and demonstrate these traits that we've talked about. Get a mentor, or my belief is you should have many mentors, and step up and perform. We have a hidden advantage as ED docs. We know the medical staff. We know their strengths and weaknesses. We can or we have to work with everybody, and that gives us insight into their behavior and their expectations. When we leave the ED, we have the mental space to grow and to develop. We're also available during the weekdays. Uh, and as simple as that sounds, that actually gives us an advantage. So emergency doctors continually practice being decisive, engaged, adaptable, and reliable. 
These are the characteristics that will lead you to a role in the executive offices of your hospital. Thank you and good luck. Okay, uh, thank you for your presentation. Um, I think uh, I really appreciate the fact that you um, didn't include that much text because um, I think uh, a lot of the stuff that you talked about can be uh, very vulnerable to like death by PowerPoint and a lot of text and just, you know, um, and I really appreciate that you kind of talked it all out. Um, and I think you can also benefit from adding additional pictures because uh, the pictures, you know, uh, speak a thousand words. Um, but overall, great presentation. Thank you.